The United States, unfortunately and tragically, has seen a surge in COVID-19 infections since early July. Half the states have been setting new daily infection records. Let's put that in perspective. In central China's Hubei province, the former epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak, about 68,000 cases have been reported since the beginning of the outbreak. In America, there are about that many cases in a single day. It is high time that people in America looked at their attitude towards the pandemic. Listen. Here's a scene from a city council gathering in Florida, where a mask-wearing advisory meeting quickly turned into an anti-mask rally. You're removing our freedoms and stomping on our con constitutional rights by these communist dictatorship orders or laws you want to mandate. We are home of the free, land of the brave. This is America, as someone else spoke. We are not in a communist nation. We will get together and do a citizen's arrest on every single human being that goes against the freedom of choice, okay? You cannot mandate you literally cannot mandate somebody to wear a mask knowing that that mask is killing people. I'm not sure about how wearing masks is killing people, but most medical experts say that a lack of it could. All this should not be a surprise given that President Trump himself wore a mask in public for the first time on July the 12th. That is after the country reported over 3 million cases. While some folks took issue with masks, others had issue with the government lockdown orders. Listen to these vacation goers on Miami Beach. It's really messing up with my spring break. What is there to do here other than go to the bars or the beach? I mean, it sucks, but we're going to make the best of it. If I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not going to let it stop me from partying. Coinciding with this insistence on personal freedom is a spike in cases. On July 12th, Florida broke the record for most new coronavirus cases in a single day in the U.S even surpassing New York during its height in April. And on July the 14th, Florida broke its record for most deaths in a single day. Florida now accounts for a quarter of new daily cases in America. In contrast with some Americans' resentment toward government lockdown orders and mask-wearing guidelines, our colleague at CNN documented a typical day in China. A weekday morning rush hour. Walk with us through the streets of Beijing. Look to my right, my left, behind me, and even headed right toward me. You notice just about every commuter wearing a face mask. In China, from passengers boarding trains and planes to those with shorter commutes, riding scooters or hopping on the metro rail, masks are on. Step into a local shopping mall with us and it's a temperature check first and another check of the health code. I don't want to make pandemic control a political contest, but the reality is that in China during the height of the pandemic and even now, the majority of people wore a mask, obeyed government orders, and gave up some of their personal freedom. It is tough, but people persevered. And as a result, COVID-19 is now largely under control, and people are better able to enjoy their personal freedom. Many observers believe that this cultural attitude of persevere now and enjoy later, respecting authority and sacrificing personal freedom for the greater good is common in Asian cultures. It is true that this culture doesn't work in all circumstances, but in the case of curbing the virus, it is believed to be the key for countries like South Korea, Japan, Singapore, and China to emerge from the pandemic more quickly. That said, the Trump administration's failure to deal with the pandemic is apparent, and even as cases surge, its politicization of the virus has not stopped. Trump sidelined the country's top infectious disease expert, Anthony Fauci, who reportedly no longer briefs the president and who himself said has not met the president since June the 2nd. In addition, reopening the economy has become more of a political calculation than a public health concern, especially in the swing states. Many Republican incumbents, fearful of an economic slowdown affecting their re-election chances, called for a quick reopening, while many Democrats cautioned against it. While at it, Trump has pulled the U.S. out of the World Health Organization and continues to hold rallies across country to blame China for America's pandemic, which he calls the Kung Flu.